Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's review is on another biopic based in the tennis world and tells the story of a young Venus and Serena Williams. With Will Smith getting Oscar buzz already for his role in this film, I was keen to see this one. So this is Kia's Reviews and this is my review of King Richard. The most dangerous creature on this whole earth. It's a woman who know how to think. Ain't nothing she can't do. Y'all know how to think? Yes, Daddy. Now these people we about to go see, you gonna show them how dangerous you are? Yes, Daddy. Let me see your dangerous face. Uh. Well, that, that's your dangerous face. <laughs> there you go, that's your dangerous face. <laughs> King Richard is a biopic that knows what it's doing. Each scene progresses the journey of the Williams sisters, but still keeps them at their young age, never progressing past the age of 14. It's like an unspoken rule of biopics that you have to start when the talented actor, artist, sportsman, etc., is young, and then how they grew up into reaching their peak and all of their accolades. Walk the Lion, Rocket Man, and many more use this structure, but this movie diverts from that standard formula. By focusing solely on how Venus Williams grew up in Compton, surrounded by gang wars, racism, and violence, just to name a few, the film's story focuses itself around their father, and how he coached and raised both Serena and Venus. This is the story that needed to be told, as the fact that they are both two of the greatest players in tennis history didn't need to be reinforced in this biopic. The struggle of getting there at such a young age was a story I didn't know I wanted out of this. However, this isn't just a Venus Williams biopic, it's mostly about their father Richard and the ideas that he adopts. By coaching his kids tirelessly for around 10 years, once Richard began to push Venus for some recognition of her tennis skills, you developed a question in your head. Is this man incredibly cocky and hard to deal with, or is this man incredibly smart and knows what he's doing? There are many scenes where his actions affect the audience's perception of him. Some scenes where he's making decisions on behalf of Venus and his family support the cocky side of him, but then a few sequences later, his obtuseness pays off, lending support to whether he's actually a smart man. That battle in your head keeps Richard's character all the more interesting, because you never truly know the answer until you get to the end. I'm not one for sports, and I've seen many sport biopics like The Blind Side and Moneyball, but neither interested me as much as they could have. King Richard had me glued to the screen the entire time. That's because it told the right story in the right way. You get straight to the point as soon as the studio logos are over, and there's not a single scene that I would change in the final assembly of the film. It's a seamless watch. Your sister is going to be number one in the whole world, no doubt about it. I know that. But you, you're going to be the best it ever was. You're going to be the greatest of all time. You know how I know? Because I plan for it. Will Smith's performance is something spectacular, and this is the movie that I think shows off his acting skills in the best way. Out of every popular film he's done throughout his career, like Suicide Squad or Independence Day, King Richard is his career best. But I'm yet to see The Pursuit of Happiness, so please don't hold me to this point until I do get around to watching that film. This is an Oscar-winning performance without a doubt, and with competition from other actors like Andrew Garfield in Tick Tick Boom and Benedict Cumberbatch in The Power of the Dog, Will Smith as Richard Williams is definitely a performance that deserves to be amongst the Best Actor nominees this year. The supporting cast were perfect, but surprisingly, it had a really good soundtrack behind it. I'm not the biggest fan of Beyonce, but I gotta say that her theme song with this film is incredible. The way the soundtrack is used is to separate the scenes that demonstrate the dark nature of Compton to scenes that are a lot lighter, whether those are focused on tennis lessons or family time. This balances the tone and mood of the film, and I couldn't have been happier with any of the choices made with King Richard. And I don't even mind you saying we hard on these kids, you know why? Because we are. That's our job, to keep them off these streets. You want to arrest us for that? Fine, but what you're not gonna never do is come knock on this door talking about you had to blow their damn brains out in them streets because they running with hoodlums and doing drugs and things. That's what you're not never gonna say in this house. Even though I'm not at all a sports fan and don't particularly like movies about sport, King Richard is a brilliant addition to the genre and I'm expecting multiple Academy Award nominations for this one. Will Smith is incredible and turns in his career best performance while also seamlessly telling the story of young Venus and Serena Williams. Being surprisingly more captivating than I had anticipated, I am so thrilled that I enjoyed a sports biopic as much as I did, so I'll give King Richard a 9 out of 10. 
Thank you all so much for watching. Are you going to see King Richard? Let me know below. As always, be sure to have a look at my previous review of Ghostbusters Afterlife, as well as my top 10 films of 2021. This has been Kia's Reviews, signing off for now. Don't forget to like, follow, and obey.